Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today we've got something really cool and unexpected. This is the first demo for Road to Vostok, a stalker-inspired survival game that's being built from the ground up by a one-man dev team. So let's jump in and check out what we can play so far. So overall, there's not a lot to do in this, and I don't want to mislead anyone because this is very much a demo build for the game. But with it, we can finally feel the movement and gunplay in action and really get a tangible idea of what they're trying to do with this. Now, if you've never heard of Road to Vostok, like I mentioned, it's a game being developed by one guy, and he's got this YouTube channel that's been covering all the stages of his development cycle. Overall, he's probably the most professional and transparent one-man dev team I've ever seen or heard of, so of course his channel will be linked down below. Now to explain what we actually have here. When you spawn in there's this little area where it has all the guns laid out in the shooting range. There's a very rough inventory system that you use to select guns but I imagine a lot of the looting UI and whatnot is subject to change. So it's very basic in this section. But walking out into the demo area it's a decent sized apocalyptic town with a couple interesting looking buildings. Something that immediately jumps out to me is the attention to detail in the foliage and undergrowth. This already feels more like a real forest than a lot of other games I've played. And the color palette is of course very dark and gritty, but there are several different lighting modes you can choose from that switch things up a bit. Now in terms of guns, there's like 7 of them at the moment, and while they aren't customizable yet, the UI to do so is already in the game. So it's very apparent that in-depth weapon customization and likely mag tracking slash different ammo types will come in the future. Already the scopes look phenomenal and there is a setting to switch between normal or picture in picture scope setting, and the recoil feels pretty punchy and realistic. Now a lot of the sound effects seem to be placeholders from the Unity Marketplace, but the one thing I noticed that really stood out to me was getting shot at from a distance makes these really nice echoey and bassy gunshot sounds. As of now, there aren't any reload animations, but once again, this being demo 1, I imagine everything about this is going to change or be added in in at least some way. Now, the last thing I really want to talk about is the AI, which you have the option to turn on in the game settings. I assume these are just the bare basics AI to be implemented, but honestly, I'm kind of impressed. Like, okay, yes, all they do is walk around and shoot at you, but in terms of their accuracy, it actually feels pretty balanced, and it's not like other games where they instantly lock onto you and headshot you through cover. They genuinely feel like someone is firing accurate suppression that gets tighter and tighter the longer you stay exposed for. And for something that's barely even started development, this is a very promising place to build from. On top of that, you can walk up to them and loot them, but it's the structure of this that matters more than the current application. Either way, it's very apparent with this public playtest that the goal of this game is to make something atmospheric and immersive, in the same light as Stalker or Tarkov. In the grand scheme of things, Stalker 2's release is probably going to take away a lot of hype for this game, but that doesn't make what they have going here any less valuable, and having options in any genre is a positive push in the gaming world, giving more power to us, the consumers. So even with big competition, I'm still very impressed with the transparency and quality of what we have so far, and I can't wait to see more from Road to Vostok. If you're interested in playing this demo for yourself, its Steam page will also be linked below, and at 1GB, I think it's worth giving a shot. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail here from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.